Hello everybody, Scott Roberts here with Explore Scientific. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, it's Monday, so happy Monday to everybody. Um, and we're getting really close to the end of the month um, here in June. We've had a, we've had a lot of uh, uh, great activity happen this month, uh, including an annual eclipse. Um, uh, and uh, tomorrow is uh, International Asteroid Day, and this is a event that was started by uh, 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 astrophysicist Brian May, Rusty Schweikert, um, uh, Danica Remy, and um, uh, who else? Greg Richters, uh, filmmaker R Greg Richters. So, uh, you know, and the, uh, it's to bring, uh, of course, awareness to asteroids. And June 30th is the anniversary of the Tohanska event. This was an explosion that happened in, uh, um, I believe it was like 1908. Um, and if you've never seen the Tohunska event, it, uh, it, is, it was a catastrophic explosion that happened, uh, you know, and um, uh, happened probably because of an asteroid uh, burst over this giant region, this forest, which just leveled just, you know, hundreds or thousands of trees and uh, was heard for you know, a great distance. And so it was just a really amazing event. Um, we have uh, uh, our show, the Open Go To Community Live coming up at, at uh, 4 p.m. Central today. So it's about an hour and a half from now. And um, on there, we will talk about, um, you know, the uh, Indy driver, uh, you know, and its capabilities for the PMC-8. Um, we'll also talk about, um, uh, you know, uh, an astrophotographer, uh, Joseph Richard, uh, that is using the IXS 100 mount and the amazing work he's doing. Uh, you know, and other details, little, little things that we picked up on the, uh, you know, PMC8 uh, groups.io uh, uh, community. And um, uh, I wanted to highlight a product today, too. Um, this was this is the Explore Scientific 20 millimeter 100 degree eyepiece. This is a favorite eyepiece of mine um, because uh, at the time it was a breakthrough uh, in the 100 degree apparent field of, of uh, you know just that whole class in, in the industry. Uh, we were the first to come into that 20 20 millimeter range, and um, you know uh, the eyepiece has um, you know if I pair it with uh, uh, David Levy's uh, uh, latest telescope, he's got an Explore Scientific 12-inch truss tube Dobsonian, um, which he loves. I know he uses this eyepiece as well. And uh, the, uh, you know, on that scope, uh, you would get about 76 magnification, but because of the 100-degree apparent field, you would have about 1.3 degrees true field view. So, you know, uh, about, uh, what, almost two and a half uh, moon diameters across. So that would be uh, an incredibly wide field. And it's, these eyepieces are great for Dobsonians because you get the, uh, you can get the magnification out of these, this series. Now this is a mild magnification at 20 millimeter, but at 100 degrees apparent field of view, the object stays in the eyepiece longer. Uh, and people just love the, the performance of this. We've gotten great reviews that you can see on our website about the 20 millimeter. And so it's a mainstay of the Explore Scientific line. Um, we uh, hope that you uh, come back and, uh, and watch us at, on the Open Go To Community Live um, uh, at 4. And uh, I wanted to announce, too, that tomorrow, uh, including it being Asteroid Day, we're going to have Dustin Gibson from uh, the uh, from OPT, uh, who's going to talk about uh, the astrophotography that he does. He'll talk about OPT and all the social media that he does as well on Twitch and his uh, Space Junk podcast and all of that. Uh, so uh, I think it'll be an enjoyable show. That will be on tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central. So we look forward to seeing you guys and keep looking up and take care.